This video will demonstrate how to use the text-to-speech function of your Mac. First, go to the System Preferences area of your computer. A quick way to get there is to click on the little apple in the upper left corner of your screen. Right now it's off the video screen, but if I click on it, you can see the little pop-up menu, and I'll choose System Preferences. Here, I'll select Dictation and Speech. And then make sure the tab for text to speech is selected. You have a choice of voices to select, and I recommend Alex. He's the most natural sounding voice, works the best. You can adjust the speaking rate if you like. And then we're going to make sure that you check this box that says speak selected text when the key is pressed. You can, um, you'll need to click on change key to select a, a keystroke combination. There may be a default one there, um, and you can use that. I like to use Control T because T reminds me of talk, but you can choose whatever you like. Actually type the keystroke combination and then click OK. All right, now let's give it a try. I have a website open here with some text highlighted, and I'll use my keystroke command, Control T, to start the talking. And then I can use the same command to stop it. So with the highlighted portion, if I let it run, it'll read the entire portion that's highlighted, but I can stop it anywhere along the way. And notice that I can also adjust the volume. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping. So, um, my keystroke command, control T, started the speech, um, and then I was able to stop it using the same keyboard command. So Alex can read almost anything that is on your computer, an email, a web page, or a document.